Hi, yogis and yoginis. Welcome to our third lesson for chair yoga for the October 2020 moon themed classes. So today we are going to touch on those major moon poses for yoga and also, of course, prepare ourselves to get into those moon poses with several preparatory poses along the way. So I hope that you'll enjoy the class. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start to unwind here through the shoulders. And as we roll the shoulders back and down, we encourage the shoulders to relax down away from the ears. And we feel our chest opening up for us and our posture naturally lifting up nice and tall. Now let's roll those shoulders back and down one last time. I'm gonna use Janana Mudra where I connect my index finger of each hand to the thumb of each respective hand. And just let the other fingers just relax here. And you might rest them here on your lap. Janana Mudra reminds us that the index finger is us, the individual, connected to something bigger, the thumb. And this whole month of October, we've been reminding ourselves of our connection to all living things under the moon. So let's come into a nice, deep, relaxed breath. In through the nose and out through the nose. And you're welcome to close your eyes if you'd like to. And we know that this in through the nose and out through the nose breath is a warming tool. So if you're finding that you're getting too warm during the practice, always exhale out through the mouth and let some of that hot air escape the body. Now we're also going to start with a new pranayama breathing technique. So let's go ahead and open our eyes. This breathing technique is going to feel a little bit out of the ordinary. It's called Brahmari breath, and it's also known as the bee's breath, like a buzzing bee. Now we have uh, one portion of this breathing technique. We have to place our hands on the face. So. I'm going to show you first how it works and then we can work on this together. So we take our index fingers and put them over the eyebrows and then the middle finger and the ring finger just rest gently over the eyes, not pressing on the eyes, just resting there more so with your fingertips resting at the bridge of your nose. And then the pinky finger just rests wherever it feels comfortable to lay it down. So the bee's breath goes like this. We're gonna inhale, and that's in through the nose. And on the exhale, we're going to buzz like a bee as we exhale out through the nose. And we go all the way to the end of our exhale. And actually, we're also gonna add one more step here and press our thumbs very gently against that little notch of cartilage between your cheek and the opening of your ear. There's a little notch there. So when we press 
in on those, that's really gonna cause those vibrations to stay all inside the head here. So let's try it again. Let me show you. Inhaling in through the nose. And as we exhale out, and we're gonna go all the way to the end of our exhale with that humming or buzzing sound. We're gonna feel that vibrating through our face, through our ears, all through the head. And the full moon is a time where we have a lot of this highly charged energy in the universe. And it may feel like our body and our mind is highly charged with energy, so much so that we have lots of thoughts on the brain. So using the Brahmari breath during this time of the full moon could be beneficial to help us calm the mind and find a little more peace. So we're gonna use this Brahmari breath three times through. Now, of course, if you're practice, practicing this for yourself at home, you can certainly continue more than three times. But we're gonna practice together for three times so that we get a good feel of how Brahmari breath works. So again, let's place the pointer fingers over the eyebrows. The middle and the ring finger gently rest just on top of the eyelids with the fingertips at the bridge of the nose. And the last pinky finger just rests on our face. The thumbs come in and gently press down on that small piece of cartilage inside each ear. So when you're ready, inhaling in through the nose. And on the exhale, mm -hmm. Relaxing those hands, feeling that good tingling all through the face, the ears, the head, and just relax the shoulders back and down. So it's a wonderful way to settle down those minds that might be full of ideas right now during this creative, highly charged time of the full moon. Now on the next inhale, let's inhale one long arm up toward the ceiling, and on the exhale, let's switch sides just long arm reaches. So sometimes we may not have time to sit down for an entire chair yoga practice, but we might just wanna take time for some of these special breathing exercises because they can do a world of good for the body and the mind. One more reach on each side. Now let's relax both arms down by our side. Let's inhale, sitting up tall on the chair, engage those abdominals, and on the exhale, a tea kettle reach to one side. Lift, 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 lift as you inhale, and on the exhale, reaching to the other side. Inhale as you lift, exhaling as we reach.
One more time on each side. Coming all the way back up right, rolling the shoulders back. Let's inhale these arms up in front of the face. Let's open up with chest expansion pose and then bring those arms back together. Opening up through the chest, exhaling, bring them back in. Few more times, opening up with chest expansion. Opening ourselves up to the abundance of the full moon as we feel that nice wide opening of the chest. Now bring those hands back to the center. Place the hands on the lap. Now let's press the chest forward for cow pose. And on the exhale, curl up into a cat pose, rounding the spine. Inhaling and pressing forward. Exhaling and rounding. Just really trying to lubricate the spine here. One more time in each direction. Now let's come back to that neutral position, sitting up nice and tall, shoulders relaxed. Let's inhale the left arm to shoulder height, watching the tips of our fingers as we gently twist, inhaling back to the center and exhale down. Inhaling the right arm up, gently, gently twisting. Inhaling back to the center and exhale down. A lateral raise with a gentle twist. One more on each side. Now let's extend one long leg in front of us and reach out through the opposite arm. And then on the exhale, bring them both down. Other sides reaching out to their longest length then exhale down. Spinal balance flow here. And later on during our class, I'm going to give a standing version of the same pose, but you're always welcome to do it in the seated position if you'd rather. One more time, extending through that leg and the opposite arm, coming back to the center. Now, let's make sure the feet are hips distance apart on the ground. That's about two fists wide, wedge between the knees. Let's inhale, both arms overhead swan diving down to a forward fold and on the inhale we're lifting to monkey exhaling down to forward fold rising as we inhale swan diving down inhaling to monkey exhale forward fold rise up tall swan diving down
You want to have strong abdominals on the way into this hinge, on the way down, and also on the way up, and even in monkey at that 45 degree angle. One more of these warming sun salutations. Now let's bring our arms down to shoulders, um, excuse me, shoulder height. The left palm will stay up to the ceiling, the right palm downward. Let's inhale as we look to the left palm and on the exhale, switch those arms over. Inhaling and exhaling. Now I'm going to take my arms down here. I'm running a little bit close to the wall on my right side here, but I can still use these same movements just by lowering them down on the diagonal. And if you're someone who's guarding your shoulders, this might be a more comfortable position for you as well. One more shoulder spiral on each side. Now let's relax those hands. Slide forward on your chair and let's take a wide stance with the feet. The toes are pointing out on the diagonal. Let's inhale the arms up to a, a, a star pose. And on the exhale, let's reach down in front of our feet, circling around. Inhale as we rise, making a big circle here for rotating sunflowers. Exhale as you reach down in front of your feet. Inhale as you rise to follow the sun. Last time in this direction. Now let's exhale, head down. Inhale as you rise. Last time around. Now bring those arms all the way back down. Duck walk those feet back into hips distance apart. Now the next part of our class, I'm gonna offer some standing options beside the chair. If you'd rather be seated, go ahead and stay where you are, but again, return to that wide stance. And if you have a drink, now would be a good time to take a sip before we move on to the next few poses. All right, so here on the vacant part of the mat, let's take the feet out wide. If you're standing, make sure when you bend your knees, you can still see your toes down there. That tells us we've got a good wide base and it's a good balanced stance. Let's inhale the arms up to a five pointed star and on the exhale, bring the elbows in toward the ribs. Inhale, reach out for the corners of the room. Hearing the sound of our healthy breathing, finding our focus there. Two more of these moonflowers. Now let's hinge forward and gather with our hinging sunflower pose. Inhaling to rise up, exhaling as we hinge. Two more times, hinging forward with hinging sunflowers. Now let's turn this into prayer flow. Hands overhead, palms touch, exhaling the hands to heart center.
couple more times. Now let's bring those arms all the way back down. Let's step the feet together so they're about hips distance apart, so closer together, but not side by side. Let's inhale both hands overhead, lacing together the all the fingers except the index finger and the thumb. Inhale up high, and on the exhale, a side bend. This is our half moon pose. Now, if having both arms overhead is too much of a demand for your back and if things are uncomfortable, just take that bottom arm down. That's another nice option. We still get this wonderful side bend through the right side of the body. Let's take four more breaths in half moon. Now when you're ready, inhale, lift, lift, lift. And on the exhale, make that crescent moon shape on the other side for half moon pose. When you're ready, lift, 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 all the way upright. Relax those arms all the way down and roll the shoulders back. We'll bring both hands together at heart center. Inhaling, standing up tall, engaging our abdominals. And on the exhale, we gently, gently begin to twist toward one side of our mat. Gently, gently, we come all the way back to the center, preparing for the other side. We inhale tall, engaging the abdominals. Exhale, turning, turning toward the other side of the mat. Now gently, gently come all the way back to the center, relax the arms down. Now here we're going to go into the standing version of spinal balance flow. You're welcome to do the seated version we shared earlier. So if you're standing, let's just step right up to the side of the chair, inhaling the arms overhead, a little bend in the knees as we swan dive down and we place our hands on the chair cushion. So from here, I'm going to extend my left arm forward and my right leg extends out long behind me. And then I exhale back to the chair. This time, let's inhale the left arm forward and the right leg behind us and then come back to the chair. Let's keep going, alternating the breath, inhaling as we stretch out exhale back to the seat. It's always one arm and the opposite leg and we're always engaging the abdominals here. Now let's inhale and reach and hold the pose. Let's take four breaths. Now switch sides. When you're ready, reach out, take four breaths. Now let's come on back to the chair. Little bend in the knees for the standing folks. 
Rise up with overhead arms and bring those arms all the way back down. Now let's turn our seat cushion away from us and let's go ahead and find ourselves in warrior one behind the chair. So let's start by taking our left foot and stepping as far back as we can with the whole left foot on the ground, nice and tall from the hips up through the shoulders and up through the crown of the head, looking straight ahead for warrior one. And I can decide if I wanna let go of the chair or hang on with one or two hands. So I'm gonna use Moon Warrior as an option today with the elbows in near the ribs, just like Moonflower's pose, engaging the abdominals here. Looking straight ahead into the distance with a soft gaze through the eyes. You can flow the pose or stay still, whichever you prefer. Now when you're ready, let's hold on to the chair with our right hand. Step that left foot back, coming into warrior two. So my right toes are still facing forward, but now my left foot is parallel to the back of the mat, and I'm looking out over my right middle finger. And I can flow the pose or I can keep things still, whichever you prefer today. Remember, this is your practice, and you can always use the options given as you'd like. One more breath. Coming back to warrior two, let's gently straighten the front leg, reach that right arm forward as if you're looking off the edge of a mountain, and place the right hand on your chair top as you reach the left arm skyward. And think about rotating that left shoulder back as if we're against a flat surface. Breathing rather than holding the breath, Now on the next inhale, lift, lift, lift. Relax the arms and step all the way up to the back of the chair. Now let's walk ourselves back so we can enjoy a nice downward dog pose here. The feet are hips distance apart on the ground and we push back through the tailbone as if you're pushing away a coffee table with your bottom. And we're making this wonderful L shape with the body from our fingertips down to our hips and from our hips down to our feet. And we're engaging the abdominal muscles here and enjoying this long, luxurious stretch for the spine in downward dog. Two feet flat on the ground. Now when you're ready, let's walk ourselves up to the back of the chair, roll the shoulders back and down. Now let's do all of those poses on the other side of the body. So we start off with the right foot now, stepping back from warrior one, looking straight ahead into the distance. Again, you can hold on to the chair or you can let go. It's always up to you. Warrior one.
Now, from here, let's make sure we put our left hand on the chair top if you need the stability help. Pick up the right foot, stepping back into warrior two, looking out over that left middle finger. And again, we can stay still here or flow the pose, whichever you prefer. Inhaling arms overhead, exhaling back to warrior two. Two more breaths. All right, let's come on back to warrior two. Straighten out that front leg. Reach that left arm forward to lengthen the spine. Then find your triangle pose. Your left hand can be resting on the left chair top or resting on your straight left leg, whichever you like and we all rotate the right shoulder back as if it's against a flat surface. And when you're ready, let's lift, 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 lift. Relax those arms, step all the way up to the back of the chair Let's inhale the arms overhead. Swan dive down and hold on to your chair top, stepping all the way back for downward dog, pressing back through the spine. Now here's an option of inhaling forward into a plank pose, shoulders in line with the wrists, then exhale back to downward dog. One more plank here, inhaling forward, exhaling, bring the tailbone back, Stepping up to our chair, inhaling arms overhead, and sitting back into a make-believe chair behind us on the exhale. Inhaling arms up, swan dive down and step back for downward dog. Inhaling into plank number one, exhale back to down dog. Inhale to plank number two, exhale back to downward dog. Step up to the chair as we inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, sit into chair pose. One more time through. Let's just follow the breath. Now let's bring those arms all the way back down. Take a sip of your drink if you have one. Definitely want to stay hydrated during our practice. Okay. Now, the next pose that we're going to do is our balancing half moon. We tried it last week. We used the seat cushion for a reaching Point to get some stability help and we also did the pose up against the wall so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my chair next to the wall so we can do this together I'm also going to move the camera here so that you'll be able to see all parts of this pose so just follow along with me here let's get to a better vantage point all right Okay, so we're going to be using that chair there for some stability help. So just follow me, gang. When you're using a yoga block or you're using a chair uh, seat for stability help in balancing half moon, first of all, you want to have it next to your wall if you're intending to use the wall for balance support. And you want to set up in warrior one to where your front leg is very close to the chair. So I'm gonna go ahead and step forward 
and find my warrior one. I've got my left foot forward and my right foot is back. I've got a nice deep stance. So what we're going to do is sort of launch ourselves forward to find balance on this left leg and then turn into balancing half moon. So whenever you're ready, let's inhale and press forward. Now I'm gonna just adjust my feet here. You wanna get comfortable first in this hinge forward from the hips with both hands on your seat. Now you can stay right here as one option for balancing half moon, or I could decide to lift my right hand off the chair and I'm gonna to start to turn through my chest, rotating back up against the wall here. And my right shoulder is trying to open up flat against the wall. My right leg is just lifting up to create an L shape in the legs. All right, balancing half moon, let's breathe rather than holding the breath. Now, when you're ready to come back down, first I like to rotate the chest back down toward the chair, two feet flat on the ground, little bend in the knees, and then rise up. Now, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just gonna move my chair here. And again, if you get into the pose and it feels like you're too close or too far away from the chair, just take a pause get to where you need to be and come right back. So here we are. I'm gonna get set up in front of my chair for warrior one. Now, I'm a little bit afraid that I might run into the piano, so I might go a little bit further here. My right foot is close to my chair. I'm getting ready to lift off and find balance there on that right leg. So when we're ready, let's lift off placing both hands on the seat cushion. Stay here with strong abdominals, or you can choose to turn toward the other side. So now I'm working the other side of the body for balancing half moon, backing myself up against a literal wall. This also gives us an idea of where we are in space because we can feel that wall behind us. Breathe, rather than holding the breath, three more breaths. Now when you're ready, come on back down, rotate, little bend in the knees, carefully rise up to standing, and bring those arms all the way down. Now, for our next series of movements, I'm gonna set up my chair a little differently. So from the side view here, I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're going to put our chair in the middle of the longest edge of our mat, but I'm only gonna put the first two legs, the front two legs on the mat. The back two legs will be off the mat. So again, I'm gonna move my camera here. So bear with me a moment. Traveling around through my basement today. Let's get set up here. All right, now this next series of movements is probably one of my favorite in all of yoga. It's the moon salutation. And at one point, remember, we're going to be hinged forward from the hips with our hands on the seat cushion. And we've got two choices. I can either look down at my chair and just lift up one mighty eagle wing of an arm on each side, or I have an option of twisting and bringing that arm up along with it, and then coming back and twisting to the other side. So it's Yogi's choice which of those options you wanna use. Oh, and one more thing. After that, we're gonna take a bent knee lunge to one side, and then a bent knee lunge to the other. Now, if you're guarding your knees and you don't wanna do the lunge part, you don't have to. Just listen to the body here. 
Let's inhale the arms up to a five-pointed star. Exhale over to a side bend. Inhale, lift, lift, lift with the trunk muscles. And on the exhale, come over to the other side. Inhale, lifting, lifting. Exhale, hinging forward. Here we're gonna inhale with one arm or a twisting movement. And then exhale back to the chair. This time we go to the other side, inhaling. And exhale back to the chair. Now bend one knee, come over to a lunge. Exhale over to the other side. Rising all the way up as we inhale. Let's do it again. Exhale to side bend. Inhale, lifting. Exhale to the other side. Inhaling and lifting, hinging forward. Twisting or lifting one arm. Exhale, back to the chair. Other side, inhaling and exhaling. Now inhale over to a knee lunge. Exhale over to the other side. Inhaling and rising. Let's follow the breath this last time through. Bring those arms all the way back down. Walk those feet back together. Let's take our chair back to its starting point. And if you'd like, you can either sit for this forward fold or do it standing. Let's take the arms up. Swan diving to forward fold. Stretching out the legs here. And if you're standing, try to stretch those legs out as much as they're comfortable straightening. Now when you're ready, put a little bend in the knees, rise up tall with overhead arms and relax those arms all the way back down. Now let's go ahead and have a seat on our chair here. <sighs> all right. So we're gonna go ahead and come back to those wide leg rotating sunflowers. So let's go ahead and take that wide leg stance, inhale the arms overhead, on the exhale, reach down in front of your feet, Inhale, rise to follow the sun. Exhaling and inhaling. Last time around in this direction. Now let's reverse. through. Now let's bring those arms all the way back down. Duck walk those feet back to hips distance apart. Scooch back a little on your chair, but not all the way back just yet. Reaching back for chest expansion pose. Let's hold the chest open. You might hold on to your seat frame here as a bind and breathe as deeply as you can. Thinking about the abundance of the full moon, the magic and the promise of the blue moon. Now when you're ready, wrap your arms around a big tree trunk, 
pull the abdominals in as you're rounding the spine. Now when you're ready, let's open up through the chest and roll those shoulders all the way back and down. Taking a wider stance one more time on the chair, let's inhale the arms up to reach for the corners of the room and then just bring those arms down. Not exactly bringing the elbows in toward the ribs, but just resting them more at shoulder height for goddess pose. So let's engage the abdominals. Let's breathe deeply in goddess. Now let's relax those hands. Again, duck walk those feet back to hips distance apart. Let's take our right hand and rest it on the left knee, inhaling nice and tall as we engage the abdominals. And on our exhale, let's gently, gently twist over to one side. Now let's gently, gently unwind back to the center. Let's take our left hand and rest it on the right knee. Inhaling tall, engaging those strong abdominals. Exhaling, twisting, twisting over toward the right side of our chair. Using our twisting poses to wring out anything that is of no service to us anymore making room for that abundance of the full moon and new opportunities. Now gently, gently, let's come all the way back to the center. Let's find a comfortable position for Shavasana. So some of you may like to sit down, some of you may like to lay down. It's always up to you, whatever form that you'd like to take. And I'm gonna read for us a guided meditation that's gonna help us visualize the full moon. So whether you're doing this practice in the morning or in the evening, I really want us to relax the mind, let go of stray thoughts so we can just visualize the full moon in our mind. All right. So let's find our comfortable position here. Let's allow ourselves to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose in just a deep, relaxed way. Just enjoying this relaxed, deep breath. Enjoying having this wonderful time of rest after all of our physical work that we've shared. As we lie here in Shavasana, we envision ourselves lying on the soft grass 
under a starry sky with the full moon shining down upon us. In the full moon's, in the moon's fullness, we see the abundance in our own lives and acknowledge how blessed and fortunate we are in this present moment. And as the moon's beams wash over us, we are reminded of the beauty that surrounds us every moment of every day, the starry nights, the beautiful reds, oranges, and yellows of falling leaves, the greens of the grasses just underneath us. And we see that same beauty in each one of us, our starry eyes, our bright shining smiles, and our warm skin tones that radiate with individuality and diversity. In this present moment, our hearts are full and our minds are calm, enjoying the peace that embraces us. Let's begin to slowly awaken these bodies from this balancing, mindful rest, inviting small movements into our fingers and our toes to gently wake them, breathing a little more deeply and filling all parts of this physical body and mind with the good waking energy we've created here today together. And finding our hearts are shining with gratitude Grateful for this practice shared with both near and far friends. Grateful for this body and this breath that carries us everywhere we go. And grateful for these two wonderful full moons that we have here in the month of October. Reminding us that we need to sometimes look for those things that we are grateful for, even in the midst of everything else. It's out there. We just have to acknowledge it. Now for anyone who is seated, or excuse me, lying down for Shavasana, let's take a moment to bend the knees gently, hugging them in toward our chest, perhaps gently rocking the knees side to side, 
massaging the back in a gesture of self-care. And then when you're ready, carefully rolling the entire body over to one side on the mat. Each of us breathing in the many jewels of our practice and exhaling all of the warmth and kindness, encouragement and love that we have for each other, for the world around us and for ourselves. For those who are lying down, when you are ready, let's rise up to an easy seated posture. I invite each one of us to bring the hands together at heart center. Let's rub those hands vigorously, using our warm hands to gently cover our closed eyes. And that wonderful heat that we find there is inviting our eyes to slowly open and we bring those hands down to rest upon our laps. Om Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 Namaste